Hello, hello, JJ Bricks and Mox here, doing a review of my green grocer modifications. I love modular buildings, and I have almost every single one that LEGO has released. I'm only missing the Cafe Corner, Market Street, and the Fire Brigade. One of my favorites they were released has to be the green grocer, just because it looks so good and it stands up well today. However, yikes, this thing is expensive. So I decided to make some modifications to make it cheaper, and I decided to improve the interior while I was doing that. So time for a 360. Already, you can see some of the changes I made. I changed all of the one by two modified bricks with grooves to masonry bricks, because those are significantly cheaper. I'll have some prices up right now. So that's mainly the only change for the front. I also added this tree here, because why not? And then on the side, it might be hard to tell because of the camera, but uh, there are 1x4 bricks instead of 1x8s. Again, more price cuts. I'll show the, pri the price differences between those two pieces. And two 1x4s, cheaper than getting one 1x8 back. Pretty much the same. So the exterior has just minor changes. It's just the masonry bricks, which I believe look so much better than the original. And the 1x4s instead of 1x8s. Time for the interior. Pretty much nothing has changed in the top two floors. Like, nothing. Except I changed the way that these two windows were facing because I just liked them that way. Again, no changes. I don't know what was happening there. But then this floor is the one with all the changes. The front entrance is pretty much the same. I just swapped out the 1x4 printed tiles for plain tiles because those are also super expensive. And it's just a small detail. And then I just added this knob here just so it's easier for me to open up the door. I like doing that with all my doors. So I just have a stud, uh, this round tile with a bar, just stuff like that. But then the interior here, this is where all the main changes are. So again, the studs on the doors here. It's kind of hard to get an angle, but the left side is the same. The right side, I added in some more drinks. So there is some OJ and some milk. And then over here, this is the fish and more drinks. So there are some fish there, and then some more orange juice, and then whatever that is on the right, probably like lemonade. It's pretty easy to access this. This just needs to come off. Kind of hard doing this one-handed. And then there it is. There are some fish in the back as well. And then just put that back, push the wall down, and there, all back together. Next is this area. There are a bunch of sweets and stuff here. This is not originally in the set. So there are some bananas, carrots, bread, pie, chocolate, sweets, whatever is there. Those were, I'm pretty sure, in the refrigerator, but it's one of the things I took out. The floor pattern is the same. This piece of meat is new onto the floor. Just to decide to put it there because this is pretty chaotic. And then the cash register, pretty much the exact same. Those sweets up there are new. And then this display shelf back there is also new. And then back there's the door, that's the same. Finally, here's where it is in the city. It's right next to the police station, the Arctic Hotel, and the park. And overall, I just love these all modifications because it gives me a more affordable way to enjoy one of LEGO's masterpieces. But that's it for this video. Bye!